name is Mary Pryor and I teach in History of Art and I teach a range of courses but my specialisms at the Honours Programme are American Modernism and Modern French Art. The area which concentrates on critical thinking and effective communication because that area for our discipline is paramount to succeeding in interpreting and translating the history of art. In academia value the academic excellence areas and so the contextual understanding of the past is again very very important to our discipline and in fact that is the way that I teach history of art by placing the production of art very firmly in the context in which it appeared. In both of my honours courses, part of the production of the course itself is to ask students to work together in teams to present a group presentation on a particular topic and whilst the group is presenting the rest of the class will listen hopefully very attentively because at the end of the presentation we then always move on into a whole class discussion i would perhaps want to bring in something that focused on students being ready to evidence their academic experiences and translate them through to how these are going to be useful for them beyond the world of education. That whole element of self-reflection is a very difficult one. It is not an easy quality to develop and it is something that we in History of Art try to encourage and do so very specifically in, in our fieldwork course that runs throughout the Honours Programme. I think the best thing is to, to look at this as we are all in it together and whatever we call these qualities, whether as here we call them attributes or whether um, many employers call them competencies or whether they come from schools that have referred to capacities we're all talking about the those things that make human beings much more capable and much more able to make their way in a, a very demanding and busy world